Hi guys, it's March in Indiana and we're supposed to go for a maple syrup field trip today. But we just realized that it's snowing today. So it's gonna be interesting. We better dress warm and we'll see how that goes. Guys, we just got here and there's a river right there. There's a museum and an old mill right there. And yeah. that's everything I had to say that's Pacific. To make magical syrup, you need to tap a little hole into a maple tree and put the tap in it. Then you need to touch a bucket to it and then there will be sap, maple sap collecting in the bucket. Then you need to take it to the sugar shack where you boil sap into, into maple syrup. Sap is 97% water so you have to evaporate most of that water out. Syrup is 66% sugar. to collect sap, you need to wait until it is above freezing temperature at, at day and below freezing at night. It takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. After you boil the sap for many many hours, you need to pour it through a filter. Once you filter it, then they put it in a bottle and sell it. Sap is food for the trees for them to make leaves. A tree has to be 10 inches in diameter in order for it in order for you to tap it. You can put maximum of three buckets if the tree is 30 inches or bigger. We just bought some pure maple sugar and some maple cotton candy. And we got a bottle of maple syrup. It's cold here. Let's go home and have some pancakes and some maple cotton candy. 